a champion in so many ways. Tonight, mourning the loss of Pete Frades and honoring his legacy as an advocate to find a cure for ALS. Frades became an icon for those battling the disease. With water, ice, a bucket, and the internet, Pete Frades changed lives. And sadly, he lost his life today at only 34 years old. As Julia McDonald shows us, he will live on through his foundation, his friends, and his family. Here at Boston College, the campus has been cheering for Pete Frades for years. It started during his days on the baseball field and became so much more important. Next summer, they'll unveil this athletic facility named for Pete, honoring the brave way he changed the world. We lost a hero today. Pete was very much a hero. The ones who loved him and fought beside him knew this day would come. <laughs> Pete Frades, the man with immeasurable spirit, is no longer suffering from ALS. In a statement, the Frades remembered their angel as a noble fighter who inspired us all to use our talents and strengths in the service of others. <laughs> it's that selflessness of Pete's that his loved ones will carry with them. They say he took on ALS like he approached baseball. It was about team and the greater good. For Pete to get sick and have his reaction be, what can I do? for everyone else. He knew that uh, that his work towards curing and ending this disease was not going to help him. Today, a cure is closer. Because of Pete, there's hope. And for that legacy, Governor Baker can only say thank you. You have a fan base here in Massachusetts and in New England and around the world that will be forever grateful to you for what you've done and how you approach this. And for many people, you change the game forever. There is so much love for that family and for Pete, and I hope they feel it. I really do. A funeral mass will be held Friday morning at 11 at St. Ignatius of Loyola Parish, right alongside Pete's beloved BC campus. Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Well, the ice